Fascism in Asia refers to political ideologies in Asia that adhered to fascist policies, which gained popularity in many countries in Asia during the 1930s. West Asia Iran Fascism in Iran was adhered to by the SUMKA Hezbe Socialist e Meli Yi Kargaran e Iran or the Iran National Socialist Workers Group, a neo Nazi party founded by David Manchazada in 1952. SUMKA copied not only the ideology of the Nazi party but also that group's style, adopting the swastika, the black shirt, and the Hitler salute, while Manchazada even sought to cultivate an appearance similar to that of Adolf Hitler. The group became associated with opposition to Mohammad Mossadegh and the two-day party while supporting the Shah over Mossadegh. Topic: Israel. Topic: Revisionist maximalism. The revisionist maximalist short-term movement formed by Abba Achimer in 1930 was the ideology of the right-wing fascist faction Brit Habirianum within the Zionist Revisionist Movement Achimer was a self-described fascist who wrote a series of articles in 1928 titled, From the Diary of a Fascist. Achimer rejected humanism, liberalism, and socialism, condemned liberal Zionists for only working for middle-class Jews, and stated the need for an integralist pure nationalism", similar to that in fascist Italy under Benito Mussolini. Achimer refused to be part of reformist Zionist coalitions and insisted that he would only support revolutionary Zionists who were willing to utilize violence. Anti-Jewish violence in 1929 in the British Mandate of Palestine resulted in a rise in support for revisionist maximalists and lead Achimer to decry British rule, claiming that the English people were declining while the Jewish people were ready to flourish, saying, we fought the Egyptian pharaoh, the Roman emperors, the Spanish Inquisition, the Russian czars. They defeated us. But where are they today? Can we not cope with a few despicable muftis or sheikhs? For us, the forefathers, the prophets, the zealots were not mythological concepts. Abba Achimer in 1930, Achimer and the revisionist maximalists became the largest faction within the ZRM and they called for closer relations with fascist Italy and the Italian people, based on Achimer's claim that Italians were deemed the least anti Semitic people in the world. In 1932, the revisionist maximalists pressed the ZRM to adopt their policies, titled the Ten Commandments of Maximalism, made in the spirit of complete fascism. Moderate ZRM members refused to accept this and moderate ZRM member Yaakov Kahan pressured the revisionist maximalists to accept the democratic nature of the ZRM and not push for the party to adopt fascist dictatorial policies. In spite of the revisionist maximalists' opposition to the antisemitism of the Nazi party, Achimer was initially controversially supportive of the Nazi party in early 1933, believing that the Nazis' rise to power was positive because it recognized that previous attempts by Germany to assimilate Jews had finally been proven to be failures. In March 1933, Achimer wrote about the Nazi party, stating, "...the anti-Semitic rapping should be discarded but not its anti-Marxist core." Achimer personally believed that the Nazis' antisemitism was just a nationalist ploy that did not have substance. After Achimer supported the Nazis, other Zionists within the ZRM quickly condemned Achimer and the revisionist maximalists for their support of Hitler. Achimer, in response to the outrage, in May 1933 reversed their position and opposed Nazi Germany and began to burn down German consulates and tear down Germany's flag. However, in 1933, revisionist maximalist support quickly deteriorated and fell apart, they would not be reorganized until 1938, after Achimer was replaced by a new leader. Lebanon. Within Lebanon two pre-war groups emerged that took their inspiration from the fascist groups active in Europe at the time. In 1936 the Kitab party was founded by Pierre Gamayel and this group also took its inspiration from the European fascists, also using the Hitler salute and a brown-shirted uniform. 
This group also espoused a strong sense of nationalism and a leadership cult but it did not support totalitarianism and as a result it could not be characterized as fully fascist. Both groups are still active although neither of them demonstrates the characteristics of fascism now. Syria The Syrian Social Nationalist Party was founded in 1932 by Anton Sada with the aim of restoring independence to Syria and taking its lead from Nazism and Fascism. This group also used the Hitler salute and a symbol similar to the swastika while Sada borrowed elements of Nazi ideology, notably the cult of personality and the yearning for a mythical, racially pure golden age. A youth group, based on the Hitler Youth Template, was also organized. In 1952, the Syrian dictator and military officer Adib Shishakli founded the Arab Liberation Movement, based on the ideas of Greater Syria, similar to the SSNP, Shishakli's former party, and Arab nationalism, but also with fascist type elements. After the 1963 Syrian coup d'etat, the party was banned. East Asia <inaudible> China Kai Su Pei faction of the Kuomintang Wang Jingwei, a right-wing nationalist and anti-communist member of the Kuomintang Nationalist Party of China, and in particular the left-wing nationalist Kai Su Pei reorganization faction, was originally hostile towards fascism in Europe, but it gradually drifted to be in favor of fascism, especially towards the economic policies of Nazism in the late 1930s. Wang Jingwei visited Germany in 1936, and changed his views on fascism, speaking positively about European fascist states, saying, "...several advanced countries have already expanded their national vitality and augmented their people's strength, and are no longer afraid of foreign aggression." Publicist Tang Liang Li of the People's Tribune newspaper associated with the Kai Su Pei promoted the good nature of fascism in Europe while attempting to distance Kai Su Pei from the overtly negative aspects of fascism and wrote in 1937, "...whatever we may think about fascist and Nazi methods and policies, we must recognize the fact that their leaders have secured the enthusiastic support of their respective nations." Tang Liang Li claimed that the foolish, unwise, and even cruel things," done in the fascist states had been done in a positive manner to bring about "...tremendous change in the political outlook of the German and Italian people." Tang Liang Li wrote articles that positively assessed the "...socialist," character of Nazism. Similarly, Xi Xiaopei of the Kai Su Pei rebuked Chinese critics of Nazism by saying, "...we in China, have heard too much about the national and other flagwaving activities of the Nazis, and not enough about the socialist work they are doing." Xi Xiaopei wrote about reports of improved working conditions in German factories, the vacations given to employees by Kraft Deutsch Freude, improved employer-employee relations, and the provision of public service work camps for the unemployed. Other works made by the People's Tribune spoke positively about Nazism, saying that it was bringing the integration of the working classes into the national socialist state and the abolition of the evil elements of modern capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Japan Taisei <laughs> Yokosankai <laughs> The Taisei Yokosankai, Da Zheng Yi Zan Wei Imperial Rule Assistance Association was created by Prime Minister Fumimaro Kano on 12 October 1940 and it evolved into a militaristic political party, which aimed to remove sectionalism from the politics and economics of the Empire of Japan in order to create a totalitarian one party state, which would maximize the efficiency of Japan's total war effort during World War II. Tohakai Tohakai was a Japanese Nazi party formed by Seigo Nakano. Topic: 
National Socialist Workers' Party The National Socialist Japanese Workers' Party is a small neo-Nazi party which is classified as an Uyoku Dantai. See also Fascism in Africa Fascism in Europe Fascism in North America Fascism in South America Relations between Nazi Germany and the Arab world